Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming. If you haven't checked out my previous video that I put up last night, I went over all the games that are previously on sale on the massive PSVR sale that's going on across all the major regions of the PSN store. As I started to go through that, I realized that there were quite a few titles that were only on the NA store. And then as I went through it further, I realized there was actually a lot of really good titles that were only on the NA store. So here is a follow-up video going over some of those amazing titles that are only, unfortunately for you in the UK, only on the North American store. And yes, I know there's other stores like the Australian store, but I just, I don't have time to do them all, guys. And like I said, guys, I'm only going to be covering the ones that are different on the NA store. So for all my thoughts on all the other games, do make sure to go back to my video from yesterday where I gave a pretty big deep dive on all the games that are on sale there. The only difference will be that the prices will vary, but I actually gave you a little multiplier in there to do the math for yourself. All right, so Hotel R&R &R is the first one that comes across here as being only in the NA store. This is actually a pretty fun little game, just going through and basically trashing apartments. Um, it's a score chasing type of game, and it's also just, um, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty polished. And uh, in today's day, it's a very good stress reliever. So um, I would think about checking that out. It's not a very big sale, but it wasn't too expensive anyways. So that might be something I'd be checking out. Carrying on here, we come to a very big heavyweight, and one that's going to sting for the UK store is Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is getting a 25% off sale. That's a pretty significant sale for a game of this caliber and also a pretty recent game to the PSVR. If you haven't picked up Walking Dead Saints and Sinners and this type of game appeals to you at all, absolutely, guys, no-brainer. Get on that. This game's probably not going to go on sale a lot, and uh, it's just this is top-tier VR. Right next to it here, you'll see the Tourist Edition. That basically just added some extra skins to weapons that were already in the game. I think it's a waste of money. There's some extra collectibles, but it's just absolutely not worth the extra $8. I would pass on that and just go with the original version. All right, carrying on here. Art Pulse. You know what? I actually have no idea what that is. Is that completely passed on my radar? Um, yeah, it's cheap. And I'm going to guess there's a reason for that. But uh, I, I really can't comment on it, guys. So you might have to go and look into that yourselves. However, Shuttle Commander, I have played. This is from the same guys that did the Apollo 11 game and the Titanic game. Uh, unfortunately, Shuttle Commander is probably the worst of the three. It had a lot of issues. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's been patched since I last played it. That's been about six months ago. But $10 is probably fair for that, especially if you're a space nerd. But if you don't have Apollo 11, I'd pick that one up first. Carrying on here. Okay. Ah, yes. The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets. This is from the guys who made Apex Construct. And this is a fun, cute, well-made, polished game. It's nothing special, but for $6, guys, um, I'd definitely pick that up if it appeals to you in the least. Moving on. Bonfire. Eh, you know what? This is priced right. It's a pretty simple game. It wasn't uh, horrible, but for $2, I mean, it's the price of a coffee. So try that out maybe if it looks like it might be your thing, but it's just, it's not going to be anything too special. Moving on, da, 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 I rento. that's a huge one too, and that's going to burn a little bit to people in the UK that they didn't get that. Uh, Sirento is definitely top 20 PSVR stuff. If you've got the VR legs for it and you like shooter type games at all, this is a badass game. It was huge on the PC VR and it's 50% off here. That's awesome. It's got a lot of you know light RPG type of qualities as you build up your character. There's a lot of different missions you can do. There's co-op. It's, um, it's actually a pretty beefy little game and Really, honestly, if you don't have it and you like shooters, you, you need to get that. So definitely pay attention to this one. 50% off. That's actually an awesome, awesome sale. Uh, and speaking of another great sale and another one that really must hurt for you UK people, Trover Saves the Universe. Um, this is from the mind of Rick and Morty. It absolutely feels like Rick and Morty. It sounds like Rick and Morty. Uh, this is kind of a third-person platforming game. Um, if you have a sense of humor that is like mine and rather on the inappropriate side of things, Trover Saves the Universe will make you laugh out loud. Um, if you're easily offended, don't play it. Not going to be your thing. Uh, but it made me laugh still in a couple points. So it's actually a really well-made game too. It's very polished. So 
look at that. Check out my review. Um, I didn't pull any punches in the review. Showed you kind of uh, what the rudeness level is too. So go check that out. Uh, carrying on out Jupiter and Mars. That is a game that a lot of people were pumped for as a PlayStation exclusive, and it just it wasn't that good. We all hoped it was going to be Echo the Dolphin in VR, and it, it kind of was, but it also really wasn't. It's got a nice art style. It really needed a pro patch. I don't think it got one ever. Um, you know, that is not, that's a good price. That's what you, I wouldn't pay any more for it than that. So, and that's been discounted pretty heavily too, from $15 to start with. I'm pretty sure it was like a $30 or $40 game when it came out. Um, okay, carrying on, Mage's Tale, man, that's another huge game that's not on the UK store, and it's 67% off, guys, this is a, this is one of the best actual RPGs on the PlayStation VR, and if you have a pro, it got a really nice pro patch, um, an amazing pro patch, actually, it's just a fantastic game if you, you know, like games that have kind of spell casting and, uh, RPG elements, it's, it was an, an Oculus exclusive that came over to the PSVR, and it's, that's, Pretty close to AAA VR there, so check that out. Carrying on here. Oh, Titanic VR, speaking of. Yeah, we were just talking about that developer. Titanic VR is um, not nearly as good as Apollo 11. It had some issues in the fact that it actually took out a few of the things that made it to the PC side of things. We got a flat version of one of the major uh, parts in the game where you can watch the Titanic sink from the decks and then down into the boats and such. They flatten that out. Um, not cool, but, you know, it's not a horrible game if you're a Titanic fan, but it's probably going to really do it for you as you can control, um, to a certain degree, a uh, little underwater drone as you fly through the Titanic um, in its wrecked state. Eight bucks, that's priced right. I checked that out if it interests you. Next up is Electronauts, and if you uh, if you are familiar with the channel, you know I absolutely love Electronauts. I still think Electronauts is top 10 PSVR. Um, I just love how it lets you create music, mess with original songs, and make you feel like you're brilliant. Um, it helps if you've got a little bit of rhythm, but other than that, this is an amazing game. Basically, lets you just mix and loop. Uh, all the different sounds in some major artists' uh, dance tracks. Uh, they had got a huge update last year. I think it was called the Summer Heat Wave uh, Collection or something like that, and it doubled its song count. So I'm pretty sure it's hovering close to 100 songs. It's a badass game. I love it. It's one of my favorite games from Servios. And uh, yeah, and that's that's saying a lot. And yeah, Servios, if you're unfamiliar with them, they've got the Walking Dead Onslaught game coming up in a month here. All right, carrying on. Nothing new here. Ah, here we go. Apex Construct. 75% um, off for this game. Guys, I think that's a steal. If you haven't played this game, you really should check it out for $5. Holy crap. Apex Construct is one of the f probably first full game exclusive to VR games built for VR games that we got. It had some issues. It was definitely trying to be a Horizon Zero Dawn for VR, and the bow mechanics are actually pretty badass. It's got some light RPG stuff in there, um, and it's kind of an open world-esque, but it's also pretty narrow um, in its areas, so it feels a little linear, but this is absolutely a game to pick up for $5. You really can't go wrong with that, and it's got some meat on the bones, so for $5, that's a great deal. Uh, another one, Sprint Vector. Man, that sucks that that's not in the UK store. Basically, the elevator pitch for Sprint Vector is it's Mario Kart um, in VR, except you have to actually run through the game yourself. This is not for people who are uh, out of shape, although actually it could be because it'll get you in shape. But if you have any physical disabilities, this game uh, might be a little rough for you. You really got to pump your arms to run, um, but it's an amazing game, not for people with uh, poor VR legs at this point because Sprint Vector is just an amazing game. You're basically on rollerblades, so you can find yourself really sliding around. Um, it's single player and multiplayer. I'm not sure what the multiplayer community is like, but the bots are not bad either. Honestly, guys, Sprint Vector is an amazing VR game. So um, yeah, that's top 20 stuff. So check that out. $8 is a steal for that game. Okay. Oh, and speaking of Servios, again, we've got Raw Data, which was Servios' first game. That's 75% off. That's a pretty big deep dive for that game. Uh, it doesn't have all the features of the PC version, like multiplayer, and uh, it's a bit of a handful on the two move controllers, which you will need to play it. But it is a, it's, yeah, it's a wave shooter, basically, but you can run around in it, and it's just an amazing uh, utilization of VR. 
as you're going to have your like lightsaber type sword. You've got bow play, gun play. Um, all the characters have their own upgrade trees. It's a decent little game. I would check that out. Actually, it's not just a decent little game. It was actually kind of a genre defining title. So yeah, um, it's maybe not too special right now, but raw data was amazing when it came out. Carrying on, um, I don't know what this is um and yeah let's just carry on not a clue uh, okay oh paranormal activity again another game that was not on the uk store if you like horror games you could do worse it's a standalone entry in that franchise it definitely has some jump scares but it also is a little bit awkward moving around with the ds4 or the move controllers um but it's not bad uh for nine dollars if you like horror games i'd pick that up otherwise i'd pass carrying on okay everything else seems to be the same here and this will be our last page let's go okay lethal um you know what lethal is another one of those games where when it came out it was something special now not so much it's kind of a shooting range game it's you know stand in place get a bunch of different guns it's got knife throwing and stuff it's not bad some people like it more than i did I think it feels a little bit sloppy. There are much better games. Gun Club VR is on the list here, and I definitely go for that over Lethal. Absolutely. So just keep that in mind. Moving on. Uh, Dreams. Wow, that's on sale. Not a big sale, but it's still not bad if you don't have Dreams already. I've been working on a Dreams video, guys, to highlight all the amazing games that are in Dreams now that it's been out for a couple of months um, with the VR patch. And damn, there's some amazing stuff. I mean, this is pretty much endless VR entertainment for you. Plus, you can go make your own VR. So I would check that out if that interests you at all. This is, you know, a game you kind of almost need to have if you love your PSVR. Uh, PlayStation VR Hits has now got Gran Turismo Sport. Um, the VR mode in that, as many will know, is limited. Uh, you basically have, um, yeah, let's say a third to a half of the tracks in VR. All the cars in VR, you can race um, against one AI opponent, or you can just, uh, you know, you can just hot lap the thing. But it's very limited, no multiplayer, and uh, no campaign mode. It's pretty much an arcade mode, but it's gorgeous. Um, it still is. Now that I've been playing PC VR uh, racers, I can tell you that Gran Turismo Sport actually shockingly holds up and betters some of those visually. I think that's why Polyphony decided to limit the game's features because they wanted to be able to deliver on their visual kind of vision. And uh, yeah, I'd keep an eye on the PS5 as I think this is going to get a blowout, whether it's Gran Turismo Sport or the upcoming Gran Turismo 7. Uh, again, and you know what? Speaking of racing games, 50% off on the Wipeout Omega collection. This is must own PSVR stuff. Um, again, if you don't have very strong VR legs, this might be something to work up to. But if you like racing games at all, you know, even if you don't like racing games, Wipeout in VR is insane. It's an amazing port done by a small team. $10, man, that's a steal. Okay, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, guys, just don't get too excited about this. This is like a small VR mode that you basically teleport around her mansion in. It's, uh, I'd pass on that. Honestly, I mean, oh, well, you know, that being said, you're going to get the full game if you want to play it in flat. But otherwise, do not just buy that for the VR mode. You're not going to be that satisfied. Thumper is an awesome game. If it's your type of game, it basically just gave me a panic attack. It's a bit of an odd game. So I'd look into that. Watch the trailers before you decide to buy that. $6, it's pretty cheap. But honestly, take a look at it. It's not going to be for everybody. Uh, the Hitman Collection, um, well, it's it's on sale, and that's going to be on sale for a while. That's just a pre-order sale. And, oh, and fantastic, we get to close this off with two pieces of crap by Sin Studios. These guys made Wraith, they made the Perfect Sniper, they made Warzone, and they have the upcoming, I believe it's called The Swordsman, and I don't have a lot of faith in that either. These guys pump out craptastic titles. Uh, so both of these have aim support, both of them suck. Uh, you know what, honestly, I just pass on both. There's just way better games on this list, even for your aim controller. So just pass on by that. Okay, quickly, I did a quick search here because uh, I've got a master list here and I didn't see it when I was scrolling through there. I must have missed it. But Creed Rise of Glory, another Servios game is 75% off. This is a very well-made, polished game. And if you like boxing in VR, it's probably the best one we have on the PSVR. Um, the multiplayer, which it does have, uh, is pretty dead, and it had it had some wonky issues. The game also had some issues 
with its stamina system, but I think they fixed most of that. Uh, guys, if you like the Creed series, you like the Rocky series, this is still a pretty awesome game, and uh, it'll get you in shape too. It's, it's good. I would check that out for $7.50 or $6 if you're a PS Plus member. Yeah. I checked that out. That's an awesome game. Again, make sure you don't have any physical limitations because this game's going to get you moving. Um, here's Archangel. It is on for it's on for 40% off. Uh, this is not like the PC version um, in the fact that it's missing the uh, open world multiplayer stuff. But this has the single player part. And even though it's a linear on rails shooter, um, this feels badass in VR, um, if that appeals to you at all. Um, just the sense of, of scale. You've got these massive robot arms attached to your um, move controllers. It's a really amazing feeling game in VR. And uh, it's hard. Like It's basically a wave shooter. But it does have a campaign that you move through and you can upgrade your mech a little bit. Um, I would actually check that out for $18. Only if it really does it for you. Otherwise, I'd just uh, keep an eye on that for a deeper sale because eh, because the content is a little light once you kind of blow through that campaign. Aspire 1 VR Operative, uh, that is 60% off. This game, when it first came out, was a massive dumpster fire. Um, it was a very poor port for the PSVR. They have since gone in and fixed it a lot, um, especially if you have a pro. It looks not bad now. It's still got some very heavy anti-aliasing to take care of the jagged mess that it was when it launched. But it plays pretty good now. It was trying to be a Metal Gear Solid Meat Splinter Cell uh, for VR, and it, it didn't stick that landing. But I would say it has more pros than cons when looking at that style of game. Movement system is pretty awesome. You can climb pretty much all the walls and ceilings and rafters uh, just to sneak up on guys. It's got two-handed gunplay, full locomotion. Um, I checked that out for $12. I think that's worth it. All right, guys, next up is Waltz of the Wizards. That's 50% off. It's only $5. I would definitely think about picking this up. It's not an incredibly deep game, but it's way deeper than you think it might be. You basically start off in a wizard's den where you can just play with everything in his apartment. To be honest, I actually prefer this game over something like a job simulator just because it was a lot of fun to play with things. You can just mix spells, and there's just so much to explore. You can do things that'll mess with your size in the game, and it'll give you different weapons in the game. Plus, you'll open up portals, and then you can go through and actually do some missions in certain areas. I'd check that out for $5. It's nothing too serious, but it'd be a great game to throw friends and family in just to have them mess around. Because they don't really need to know what they're doing. They can just play around and have fun in it, and games like that are nice to have around. And keeping in that theme of games that you can just jump into and mess around with, we've got Cave Digger and Cave Digger Riches. Uh, they're both on sale. Eh, you know what? Honestly, I'd pass on this. I don't think there's really that much to it. I mean, you're stuck in a mining shaft um, in an elevator as you go down and dig away at things. There's a bit of an upgrade system, and then you just dig and you collect more things. It's not my type of game. Eh, you know what? I just, it's not a horrible game, but it's not something very special either. And guys, that's the end of my NA rundown of anything that was in the North American store and not in the UK store. Thanks for stopping by on my second video here. Again, if you haven't watched the first one, uh, that's almost a half hour deep dive on everything else in the sale. As I again went down and told you guys what I would consider throwing in your shopping cart and what to avoid. And in closing, guys, I just want to let you know I'm going to be streaming games pretty heavily uh, in Twitch coming up here. I've got a new schedule going up. It's going Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. And I'm going to be streaming all things VR across all the headsets. I'm going to do it on Twitch. So I'm not bombarding you guys on YouTube if you don't want to see it. But definitely consider coming and following me over on Twitch. That would be awesome because it's a new platform for the channel. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a tough go. So I'd appreciate your support. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, check out that sale. It's an amazing PSVR sale. And I will catch you on my next video.